I'm actually going to do this the other way, I think, but I wanted to start it this way. <laughs> so I kind of move things around a bit. Okay. I want to do random dots. It's my full kind. I think I may. Okay. This may take me a minute. I've got to rearrange things a little bit. I haven't done any. I didn't shake these up yet, so we'll have to all deal with the air bubbles, the ensuing air bubbles. <laughs> so let me get a few of them shook, shook up here. I want to keep moving these to the side because I think I'm going to want to turn this the other way. I was in the mood, the mood to turn it the other way. Let's keep what we want here. Do a little of that. Oh, I still haven't mixed up more red yet. Shame, shame on me. <laughs> do more of that in a minute. I'll get some of these. I'll get some of these too. That's fine. That's so fine. Oh, hey, you, Merck. So I just realized I didn't uh, mix any more red, but I think I have some of the new red at least. Some of the new red at least. But I hadn't shaken any. Boy, I just hadn't done anything. Hadn't shaken anything. I hadn't done anything. So I think today I'm going to take another run at doing a flower field, but kind of a small one with, with a lot bigger proportion sky. So finally, we can turn this around. All right, so. I'm, I'm just playing because there's two ways to go. One is to do the bottom first, then the sky, and the other is to do the sky first, then the bottom. The advantage of doing the bottom first is I can flip the silicone and cover where the sky area is going to be. If I do it the other way, I can't really do that. Yeah, we'll do. We'll we'll go uh, bottom first, then top. We'll do it that way. I want to do kind of a, I don't know, maybe something like that, kind of a field sort of look to it. Dandy in there. Looks <laughs> like that's a bit clogged up there. Hang on. Still clogged. It's almost coming up though. We have tiny little bits there. Oh, there we go. I think that cleared it. Sort of. Well, that's fine. I'm trying to find it. Nope. Some light all along in here. I should have put that down first. That's okay. That's okay, though. The reason is because the white's going to tend to want to lay on top of that. Uh, just sort of mix it up this way. We can put more colors on top of the white if we need to. Just kind of quickly mix that up a bit. We'll do that. We'll lay some colors on top of that. That's what we'll do. Can't care about doing the paint in this care about wasting paint too much on this guy. In this style of painting, that's for sure. Okay. The yellow seems to be sitting on top. That seems fine. I'm 
try and swipe the whole thing with this lime green. Of course, to do that, it has to actually come out of the bottle. Oh, a little stuff in there. I need to clean that moss a bit better. Oh yeah, that does not want to come out of there. Hang on. It goes, it goes a drop or two and then stops. Let me see if we can just clear that. Whatever is the problem there. Oh. Just lock that right on over there. I think I might move this up a little bit. The only problem is with swiping with this green is it's going to put green right up at the top. But we don't necessarily want Put a little more yellow in here. Right near the top, there's nothing. Let's get a few more colors. I want some, a lot of random colors in this. Can that doesn't want to come out of there. Oh, there we go. All right. And I'm going to cover that top a second or something. I don't think we'd probably flick that very high with the silicone. I can see what I'm doing here, sort of. going to want to put that in a little lid of some kind. And we have our, our knife here. And where's that brush? The brush we've been using. Not that brush. I see where that one is, but that's not the one I want. I want this one. I set it where I could see it, and I, then because of that, I couldn't see it. Okay. First things first. We'll try. I'm not going to try that wet paper towel. That just doesn't seem to ever do what I want it to do. So nuts to that. We'll try something else. Come very lightly with like that. Light little touch on that. Well, at least this time I did get the green all the way down. So we got that going for us, which is better than I've done any other time. And again, I want the green all the way to come all the way down there. A little less on this side, that's okay. And then just a tiny bit down there. Touch that. Okay. Well, let's give it a go, huh? I think first I'm just going to... I've got all these papers on here. I think I'll just tilt that just to get the down, down to the bottom there. Come on. There we go. All right, let's, well, let's give it a go. We'll go around once on these things. Okay. Let's see what we got here now. I'm going to try it this way where maybe I won't spider up so much. I'll try it from the side. there in the middle. Let's see what that does for us. I'm just going to take this off now. Okay. Go ahead and clean that up. So I don't think I got anything on there. Not the green paint, of course. Yeah, I kind of like what it's doing. I don't know why there's a streak there. That's weird. But uh, 
Look at that. I kind, I kind of like that. That does look flower gardening to me. Some, uh, oh, thank you, Humor. I'm going to try some of this up here where it didn't seem to get through to anything and see if we can get it. I don't know, maybe there's not enough underneath it. I'm sorry about this, though. That's kind of a shame to that streak there like that. But let's try and just put some dots around it. Maybe that'll obscure it enough. Because other than that, it looks so good. I don't want to mess with it too much. About this till just now but we could do like a separator layer if we put like some distant sort of purplish mountains that could be like a separator layer between these two areas before I try and do a sky let's see I'm just just gonna stand here and think for a second then I think that would be okay first of all though I think First things first, I probably want to kind of scrape off the part I don't want. So what I want to do is get this layer here to be a little bit off there. So I don't want too much green in what's going to be the sky area. And I did say it would be a risk putting the green in there. I acknowledged it even at the time. It's come way down here. What I might do with that center area is drop some flowery bits on top if it looks too too plain. Right now what I'm going to do is just try and take some of that green off there. And like I said, maybe we'll put like a row like that, so like kind of a hill behind there. And put like a mountain sort of row in there. Now for that, we'll get kind of a neutral, some neutral colors. Oh, I shake that. Okay, I'm come along here for a second here. Maybe a little bit of the lavender. And a little bit, I want this to be somewhat bluish in tint, I think, before we come in with the sky color. So I'll get maybe a touch of blue in there. A touch of ultramarine, maybe. That might be better. Maybe a little bit of white. Just a white one. Okay. And there's that swiper. I'm just going to do this this way at first. And we'll come back in and fix it up a bit. Touch that right to that, so it's got something to work with there. I'm going to bring that down where it looks a little softer of a line. <laughs> it's still got some of that silicone, I can see it. I can see it forming there. Actually, I, I was going to blow this out, but I think I might leave that, leave it the way it is for now. Take that down probably to there. Okay. I'm going to come in here. I'm just going to throw this on here. I'm just sort of build up in layers here for the moment anyway. Okay. 
it's a little more hill than what I want there. But you know what we could do is do like a row of trees in between the two layers there. That might, might work. I think what I'll do though is fade this out a little bit with a little bit of this lighter pink color in there. It could have big mountains. There's no reason why it wouldn't wouldn't have big mountains, I guess. Hmm. I think I liked it better before, so I'll just kind of swipe that along there. And we'll just sort of come up here. I think what I'm gonna do now. Do I want to turn it? No, I think I'm still going to want to leave it this way and blow away from me because if I blow down, I'm going to blow right into that field. And I don't want to do that. I like it just the way it is now. I just sort of get that wet in there. The, the uh, silicone oil, though, worked real well. That worked just about the way I wanted it to, so no no complaints from me. And that is a rare, a rare thing you're going to hear me say. I've got no complaints about that silicone oil. And we'll do a couple layers here and here. I'm going to probably uh, blow that, blow those bubbles out of there before we do anything more with that. I want to get, where is it? I'll get some of this. Right there. And the pinks. I want this to be a, a nice springtime sort of sky. Maybe some of the lavender then. A little bit of the violet. Some of the blue and a little bit of the brighter yellow. I'm gonna get the yellow near the blue there. I think what I'll do is do that. I've got that other pile there. I'll use that for the blue. I'm gonna do a little bit of blue there. Get over here and some other purples. Purple's just around here, maybe. Okay. I'm going to take out those air bubbles first. Okay, blowing stuff out there with air bubbles. Now this, I feel like maybe I should set that better. Um, get more of what I want right above the hills before I try blowing that out. So I'm just going to put a little bit of white, maybe a little bit of this uh, pastel yellow, or, or regular yellow. That way I won't get that weird effect. We'll try some regular yellow in there. I think that'll be fine. That shouldn't turn green because that's not really blue where it's above. And I want to get a fresh swiper. I want to go just above where these mountains are. Okay, that's a little thinner than what I want it to be with this application. But let's uh, can do some blowing there if we need to. At least it told me that the paint was a little thin there and we needed to add some more. I'm going to get some thicker white, I think, to add in there. Where's my thicker white? Right here. We'll get some of that in there. Yeah, that should fix it. I'm just going to put some across there. Then what I think I'll do is maybe get the smaller blower. And try and do just above where I get to do most of the blower.
you. Maybe I went a little overboard to get the thicker one, maybe. Oh, but, oh gosh, I just touched that on there. Did not mean to do that. I'm just going to mix some of this in while I'm here. It'll be less for the other blower to have to do when it's over here. It gives me a chance to see what the problem area is. Like over there, apparently I do not have enough paint. Now this actually is not too bad here. Not quite what I want, but it could be worse. I think all we really need to do is redefine these mountains. Need a little darker color to do that. Although I did feel they were a little dark. Not mind just going back over there entirely. Make them even softer. the blower a little bit on there just to kind of get some of these colors mixed in there. Get that dark a little lighter in the bottom here. And that one I'm going to do by hand. that back mountain to be just like it is, very much in the distance. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and try it for the, for the side here. In the middle we don't have anything so let me see if I can move these and turn this I might even put an extra little bit of uh, paint on there to blow out and blow across the other direction but first I need to be able to turn this to for that scheme to work so I didn't have enough I just didn't have enough oomph to get across there And there's also this part here is slightly boring down in here. So let's see if we can get some, some colors and some things going in here. I might even put it under here. A little bit of this in there. A little bit of this cerulean. A little bit more of the violet, I think. I'm going to try and get those air bubbles out of there without uh, destroying what we just did. Uh, this one. I don't want to get that too close. Maybe over in here we can put a little more of the so, oh, mm, that's got nothing, does it? Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, I got stuck all under myself. There we go. Okay. I'm going to use the big blower, but I might regret it.
I think we can get away with it. That center bit really let me down. Just the paint was too thick, it wouldn't blow. I almost might want to tilt it. Almost. Let me just turn this one more time this way. I'm going to put just a little white, a little bit thinner white in there. You can get across with that a little better. Let's try a little bit. I'm just going to come right back over here. Okay, that might work. I don't want to. Don't want to destroy something that's working. I just need to fix that mountain up a little better. you're seeing here. A little low on it. Let's resize that and uh, turn this a little more. Maybe just move it this way so you can see what I'm doing. That is not too bad. Not too bad at all. I think the only thing I, I was going to do is maybe try and get some uh, Kind of lost my mountains here, but let's do those should be easy enough to put back in there. This part I kind of want. It needs to be a little more of a darker color. It might look can sort of come up like that. There we go. I might just soften that a little bit. even add just a touch more color in there, I'm not sure. Maybe even a little bit of blue or something in there. Let's touch that a little bit and work that out a little bit. Up here, I had a little trouble. It's a little better. The green in the sky was, of course, not what I was aiming for, but I don't think it hurts anything. The only thing I'd say is maybe put some lighter colors in here. Possibly some trees or a little row of foliage up here, but I think I might wait till it dries for that. Uh, but this part, let me see what we've thrown off. We might have quite a bit of paint we've thrown off that we can put up in that. Oh yeah, boy, boy, and and how? Mm, yeah, from when we did the swipe, we got a lot coming down here. Uh, I can probably move that because you probably don't need to see that part. We'll leave it more in the in the frame. Okay, so if we want to add some, this part's nice because it's all already, uh, what I want to do is maybe come along and just touch, that helps if you've got it on the other side, I think. It didn't quite come off the way I wanted it to. Let's try this, we'll see if we can get a little bit just to come off there and I think it maybe come along the top edge 
as though we were seeing these, these flowers more off in the distance there, along this top edge. You know, so you can just see them off in the distance in there. You won't see the details. but I don't seem to have a long one here. Some whites. Let's try at this point maybe to try dropping it this other one. what we'll need is some transitional area between the far away and the close up. And I will say doing this method seems to have given me a little bit more of that look like these flowers parts are very far away from the other, which is kind of what I was going for. But now I need to transition those two areas. They look right together. Right. Right wind or something like that. two, but then even here we start losing it on the flowers. So we almost need to add, be able to add some drops in between, but I don't want it to be bigger than those drops down there. Oh, that's stick instead for this, for this part of it. Yeah, if that's working, that's working, that's fine. I'm not sure what I'll do with it, but it's pretty stuff. Put some that thicken down in here. It's too bad those drops didn't come up just slightly higher than they did. I think what we could do is put some of these bigger ones down lower. And add some like some larger flowers in there. So would that work? Just some bigger drops right on in there. And maybe we might try blowing those a little bit. Give them some different shapes. Across a bit. Ooh, that one, a couple. A couple of bigger ones in there.
get a second, a second series of colors in there. And if that's quite what I want to do. So I can get something lighter. Just something interesting. Bright, doesn't it? I didn't think I, I thought I had this on the not as bright setting too. Just a little puff of air to. Uh, change the shape a little bit. Uh, let me look at that while you guys are seeing. See if I can darken that a little more. I can't move my mouse at all. That would help. Video capture properties. Configure video. So now from there it looks it looks fine. It's probably gonna be too dark. Thank you for saying so, you were. You know what else might work well is um, just put a couple little stems down there. Not not all over the place, but I'm going to start swiping. I've got plenty of this dark green paint. I'm sitting here. So we can just arc some, uh, some idea of a stem in there in some of these. They don't look too much like they're just floating out here in, the, in space. field of flowers then you see the closer the closer ones go up above the other ones they don't go in, in lines so oh the brightness level seemed okay you mean it's probably a little dark now but from what I was looking at it just looks so bright Just break up where those are. Not going to worry about putting them all the way down because other things will probably come up in the way. I think we probably need a few more, maybe of some different types of colors. Put some, hey, oh, you know what we could use is maybe some nice red. Put a few red poppies in there. Let's see if we can drop a few in there. I'm going to mix this up a little bit. I don't want a pure red. But I'll just grab some of those. Stick it a little zing. A little bazinga. Look at that area. That's probably a good idea. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I need to puff that one quite as much, but I'll get some other colors. I'm going to 
find that for some reason having some white flowers always seems to help on these things. I, I have no idea why. But just that little touch of white just seems natural somehow in a, in a field of flowers. I guess because so many flowers are white, I suppose. I think I'll drop some white back in there too. I'm going to use the thicker white for that. That's okay. Seems to lay on there just fine, so it's not so thin that it's soaking in there. We've got all of our new MHC shows tonight, you were, well not Marlo because she's done, but we've got uh, Agatha Christie and we've got on the side hills. Both of them have the new shows on there. So we will be quite entertained this evening. No problem there. I was going to take the trash down. Oh, I'll do that as soon as I'm done. Just remember that. I could do that. White sitting here in the room. You know what that was? You spot a stray paint or something? I was kind of hoping, I haven't looked it up yet, but that maybe Pr Professor T would have some crossover actors. Some of the actors from Homicide Hills might be in Professor T. Could happen, you know. Might see Barbell in there or something. my opinion. I'll just keep maybe adding some, I think adding these more pure color flowers seems to be helpful. So we'll keep on with that idea for a bit. Rather than mix them in, just some of the purer colors.
Yes, that's what I was saying, you merge. I was just saying maybe there's crossover characters. Had you thought about that? There might be crossover characters. I mean, not crossover characters, but the actors. That maybe some of the German actors from uh, Homicide Hills might be in a Professor T here or there. I mean, it's possible, right? I know the... Uh, the British actors are always all over the place. Let's see why it would be true of the German ones. I was going to look it up. See, look up Homicide Hills and those actors and see if any of them show up on any Professor T episodes. Just saying it could happen, you know. Just saying. You know, they might have got their start with a a bit part on a Professor T or something, or just been a, a guest. I mean, that first Marlowe has Gerard Depardieu. I know that's the, now I'm talking about the French one, but still, it shows that the different countries do the same thing with their, their famous actors might turn up anywhere. This one area had been more more colorful. I wouldn't have felt the need to do this, but that one area was just so bland in with the green that I just felt like I needed to do something in there. Oh, you mean if we find out that they're in that they're in another episode? Oh, it would ruin the surprise, you mean, of seeing them. My only thought was, well, you're better at it than I, would I, would I recognize them. I still can't believe that was the same guy in Invitation to Murder. He was so different. I mean, he seemed like kind of a buffoon sort of character in the castle. And there he was talking with that British accent, sounding all like smart and everything. Really threw me off. It's just like, what the hell? What's with that guy? My whole universe is a mess now. Sorry, there are these colors too, I think. Oh, I mean to put quite the big dot in there. Oh, that's okay. It's a little closer up, let's say. A little, yeah, a little closer. That's why it's big. You know, I was really surprised. I, I would never have recognized it if you hadn't said something. Not in a million years. If that was him. I 
should have done that a little earlier <laughs> in the proceedings, but I just noticed it. You know, I'm thinking of getting to where I feel like I can leave that. I'm going to blow on that one thing just one more time. It's a little bit pink, right? Yeah. I'd like to add, oddly enough, I think I'd like to add a touch more of the green back into that top bit a bit. to take it out and I don't know if I can go back in. Back in the, the genie, can put the genie back in the bottle. I mean we could put, we could stand here all day putting in flowers, but I think we could probably uh, Leave that as as it is. What do you think, you Mert? Looking good? Let me get a thumbs up, you Mert. Uh, I can try lightening that again. Not not the painting, but <laughs> the uh, the camera view. I should have. Uh... that to that degree. I think so, you Mert. Um let show shall we leave that? So I said that I realized my mountain had gotten a little off. There, that looks better. That one looked quite as much better as it did, but <laughs> I think that's pretty. It's what I was going for. I thought I just I'm just gonna do a cheerful uh, wildflower meadow scene with a big sky. That's it. <laughs> what that looks like. So yay. Um, who knows, you Like I said I might put a row of like. Uh, trees or something or even just a few of the tiny trees in the background in between the mountains and the not mountains what, what is that now something forming over here i think that blew it out um but yeah i might do that might put critters in who who knows some some birds across the sky uh but i think it i think it's good i'm okay with it Okay, there's a weird thing there. Do I want to obsess about it and try and take it out, or do I want to ignore it? I'm going to give it one little shot to take it out. Nope, won't come out. Okay. Hang on. I think what I might do is I just might cover that with a touch. I think it might be a bug. That's why I'm a little concerned about getting it out of there. Oh, that's better. Okay. Paint's still wet enough to... No, I think it was just a weird dollop of paint, just in a weird spot. God, now this stuff's fun and weird, too. Sometimes things, weird stuff happens as it sits here. No, that's probably good enough. I'm sure it's good enough. Let's leave it. We'll break for lunch. And let that sit here. garden. Phew. All right, I'm going to be off then for lunch, and I'll check in with everybody later. <laughs> it's emotionally bright. Yes, it is, you murdered. It's a very happy, flowery little scene, which is what I wanted. Oh, shoot, put my hand right in the paint as I was taking it off my glove.
I, I will stop that. I'm just taking off my glove first. I haven't forgotten. Although, once I leave, even if I left it going, it's just an empty room. <laughs> Bye, everybody.